welcome. We're back in the kitchen again. I'm your host, Christopher Charambus, and you're in for a treat today. We're going to be doing my favorite, and this always puts a smile on people's face. We're going to be doing Greek style nachos. Okay, so one thing you're going to need is some tortilla chips. If you can find some without preservatives in, then your favorite basics are good. Or there's a better there's a better make that I use which I couldn't find for some reason. Same fruit is not stuck in the mint, but I want to find you a link on the internet and hopefully I'll um, put a link underneath in the YouTube channel. Okay. Um, you're gonna need for this diced cucumber. If you don't know how to dice cucumber, it's pretty easy. You can go on YouTube. There's many different variations of dicing cucumber easy. You're going to need two avocados. You're going to need about 20 olives sliced, half a red pepper and half a bell pepper diced, chopped up as finely as you can. A very half a very small onion diced. You're going to need cheese this is not going to be vegan and we got some organic British mild cheddar um, Himalayan salt if you want it and some good cold pressed olive oil also you're going to be needing I forgot to put it on the table one moment here we have it some good good old halloumi cheese So it's going to be like Greek Cypriot style. Alright, so let's get to it. First of all, we need to make the guacamole. Let's put that over here, out of the way. Get out of the way and that's the easiest thing. Also, don't forget to pre-set your oven to 175 or 350. Okay, so let's mush this. Avocado. Make sure the avocado are ready. Don't be uh, buying rock hard avocados and be trying to mush them up. You'll be there all day. Right. Now we're going to put this into the bowl. I don't know why I picked this food, it's too small. So, scrape this off, put that in. You can also mush it up in here too, but it gets a little annoying. Okay, I'm happy. I'm going to need this. Let's move that out of the way. Okay, now all you've got to do is add a little Himalayan salt. Excellent. Put your onions in. Don't put too much onion, you know, it tastes, it ruins the taste of the guacamole. Add your mixed peppers. Make sure your hands are clean, by the way. Hygiene is important. 753 Hygiene. Most, a lot of you watching this will know what I'm talking about. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just type in 753 code uh, Instagram and you will understand. You will find a page. I'm going to put this in the fridge for now. Wipe my hands and now here comes the fun. We're going to need a bowl like this. And this is going to serve at least four people by the way. So all 
you do is pour some of this olive oil over the top. Whoops, my apologies. And just give it a little bit of a stir. Alright, we're getting there. So now, what we need is the cream cheese. Take half of the cream cheese and put it into a. Actually, we're making it for four people. No, for four people, we're going to use the whole cheese. Now, I don't eat cheese much anymore. In fact, I eat cheese probably if I'm if I'm lucky once a month. I try not to eat cheese because it destroys my skin. Once I have cheese, I have big problems with pimples. Uh, so I try to stay away from it. In fact, my girlfriend had the same problems. She stopped eating cheese and her skin cleared out miraculously. So cheese, pimples, big problem. All right. All right, so now, it's a little thick, especially if you're from America, your cream cheese is really thick over there. So, what we're gonna do is thin it out a little bit. I'm gonna use a little bit of olive oil. One tablespoon will do it. And it's still too thick, just add some water. Don't add too much olive oil to it because it'll, it'll change the taste. One tablespoon will do it to one cup of cream cheese. 500 grams of cream cheese. Yeah, it's too thick. So what I've done is added a little bit of water. Whoops. Bad technique there. Don't add too much, you know, you'll make it too runny. Excellent, we're in business. See the texture? Okay. So next thing is to grate the cheese. So of course you're going to need a grater. If you're using a cutting board, I like to put a towel underneath to make sure it doesn't slip. To there. Alright, and we have... Tell me the weight. 270 grams. Grate this up. And put so there we have the cheese. I think that's enough. Alright, so we've done the cheese. We're gonna grate the we're gonna grate the halloumi as we go. So watch. Let's move this to the side. All you're gonna do, bring your nachos. You're gonna do one line of nachos. There you go. Now, for the cream cheese, you're gonna put a dollop
on each corner. Just spread it out a little bit. Not too much. Because you're going to do another line in a moment. You're going to sprinkle some trees in. Then you're going to get the cucumber. the olives can you believe it seven years ago I didn't like olives now I can eat them forever what was I thinking I don't know all right now you're gonna grate some hamalumi cheese on there stuff from Cyprus you're in luck but if you have to go to the store in England or in America wherever you are I apologize it's not so good okay so now we've done that part where are we all right so now all we've got to do is do another left Cream cheese first. Dollop here. Dollop there. One there. Get the last one. Second layer. Could do with a bigger bowl actually. But I don't have one bigger. I can go in the oven. Next investment. Normally I, I only do this for two people, so it's half the size. But When you're feeding others and guests, you've got to impress. And this one definitely does that. Next come the olives. Wait. Now we're going to put the cheese on top. Sprinkle on.
You can even add feta on top too. Feta cheese, but three cheese is enough. And there you have it, the mountain. <laughs> All right, once you see, you're gonna put this in the oven for a good um, about 30 minutes, 35 minutes. Let it cook, let it brown a little bit on top, not too much though, and then it'll be ready to go. And you're gonna break into it with your friends and enjoy it. So let's put it in the oven and we'll see you in a moment. So this is how it looks. It should have gone nice and golden on top. We've got our guacamole on the side. Um, I'm going to be having some vegetable juice with it as well. Um, the other people are probably going to have green tea or water. I don't serve alcohol at my house. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed the recipe. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to make a comment below. Also, if you like the recipe, Make sure you hit the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and look forward to more coming recipes each month. Thank you very much. Take care everybody.